been double jabbed, then you can't pass on the virus. No, if you've been double jabbed, then you're less likely to be infected. Of course, you can still get infected, but you're less likely to. And we know that. So if you've had the AZ jab, uh, for instance, that we know that from study after study, that the, 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 the chances of you being infected are 65 uh, percent less than they would be otherwise. Uh, the, with the Pfizer jab, it's about 80 percent less. So you're less likely to be infected. And if you are, uh, you, know, you can only pass on the virus if you are infected. And, and that's why the, vi the vaccines are so important. Yeah, but you've got a 37% chance of still passing on COVID-19 if you've got it, even if you've been double jabbed. And, you know, this isn't about perfection. You know, there's no risk-free pill that we can... That's not perfection with, juice, we can, with we, all we due respect, we don't... Health Secretary, come on. We don't live in a risk-free world. This, this virus, we're learning about it all the time, and it's our duty to make sure that we're doing everything... We yeah, 37% chance is still pretty high, though, um, isn't it? Would it not be better? Well, what, what, would you, what would you like, Kay? Would you like a 100% chance? You're well, I was what, just about what, to go what, on, what you, if I may. 37% chance. You say, you say it's quite high, but I'll tell you what, 80 and 90% chance is a lot higher. And I think your okay. viewers listening to this program would understand that, that this is about minimising the risk. It's about minimising the risk. With this virus, it's a horrid virus. We, we, sadly, we know so many people that have been affected. You may know, I know people. I've lost loved ones to this. But lots of people have listening to this program. And I think what they would expect that if you are in a vulnerable situation, if you're in a hospital bed, you're in a care home, you're at your home receiving domiciliary care, they don't want to know that that, that, that care worker that is perhaps visiting some 10 people that day, if they are uh, infected and perhaps they're asymptomatic, do you want them going around every house and infecting 10 of their people that they're seeing them? Of course you don't. Your viewers don't want going... to see that. Now, I'm not saying it can be 100% If I can jump in at some stage counts. and say, I was going to go on well, to I, well, say, why you, you not You can, but I'm only, I'm only doing why what you normally test... do, but carry on. If I may, uh, I was going to say, why not test somebody every day if they're a frontline worker and then you're 100% sure that they haven't got the virus? We do that anyway. The NHS will, will do that in most... I don't know if it's exactly every day, but in the NHS and, and in care homes, people will be tested regularly precisely for the reason that you pointed out earlier, that when you take vaccines, of course, your chance of being infectious is a lot less, but it's not foolproof. And that's why having the vaccine alongside regular testing is the, is the best way that we can go and protect everyone in, in any way that we can. You test